Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while. My name is Mandy. I like to talk about makeup, uh, nail polish, and things happening in my real life. Today, I have an update for the 50 Shades of Yellow Gold as part of the Fantastic Ladies Collab Group projects. So, if that's something you're interested in seeing an update for, stay tuned. All right, this is a Fantastic Ladies Collab Group project. The Fantastic Ladies, if you don't know, are a Facebook group and they create panning, makeup panning projects. And this is one of their projects. It is called 50 Shades of Yellow slash Gold. And it was created by Jessica Lee, Amanda, and Cece. I will have some of them linked down below in the description. And it is a year-long project where you work on 50 items that have the shade yellow or and or gold in some way, shape, or form associated with them. Either it's a yellow product or has yellow packaging or has gold on the name or has something yellow in the name like lemon. Um, yeah, any way you want to figure that out. This started on April 15th of 2023 and goes until April 15th of 2024. I do have a fan going, which I hope you can't hear, but if you see my hair moving, that's because the fan is blowing it into my face. Because it is uh, like 80 degrees plus where I live right now and about 80 degrees in my room as well. So, without further ado, I... Um, doing this semi-rolling style, I brought in, I'm working on currently 41 products on my list. I've decided to declutter one, and I finished a couple already. So let's go through everything I'm currently working on. The first is from Sunbum. It is my face moisturizer in SPF 50. I brought it into the project. I think we were right about here. I think this is from a previous project. And today we are down here. It is like one or two more uses left. I've already bought a backup. This is my favorite facial moisturizer um, sunscreen. I use it as a moisturizer, but it's my daily sunscreen. And um, yeah, that is almost done. So that will be exciting because that is my goal. So that one is almost goal met. It'll be done next month, I'm sure. Next for my body, I have sun sun, <laughs> sun bum body in SPF 50 and the marks have worn off. I think we brought it in. It was here and last time I updated was here, which yeah, I updated it sometime between April and now. And now we're down to here. I haven't been remembering to wear it, but I also haven't been going outside very much because it's been really hot and you know, yeah, but we're right about there. So this should be done soon. I'll try and remember to wear it more often when I do go outside. All right, let me shift around because I'm sweaty. Next up is my deodorant from Hey Humans. This is in a cardboard tube, kind of like a push pop. Pop the top off, there we go, like that. And then you push up from the bottom to get more. Um, I am guessing my the bottom of the package right now is about there, but the package itself is probably about a half an inch um, thick. So I'm guessing we're probably about here at the exclamation point on how much product is left. But my goal is to finish this and I will continue working on it. This is in Rosewater Ginger scent. And I am using this as my travel deodorant right now. So it is getting used some of the time, but not all of the time. Okay. Moving on, I have my bubble bath. This is from Urban Hydration. It is their Brighten and Glow Peach and Papaya Bubble Bath. You can see there are is yellow on there. And I brought it in. We were, where, where is it? Here it is. When I brought it in, we were way up here. And over the last month, we're down to here. I've, I've taken a couple bubble baths. So yay me. Um, and yeah, um, my goal is to finish this. And I think we'll get there eventually. Slowly, but surely. Okay, um, next on the list was a, a soap. 
bar of soap. It is still being used. I still have it. I'm not going to pull it out to show you because I don't know how big it was last time I showed you. So next is my Hemp's Lotion. And this is their Wild Wildflowers and Chamomile Lotion from Hemp's. And I brought it into the project. It was full, I believe. And last update, we were here. And now we are down to here. I do decant some of this into a travel size bottle, but I also use it straight out of here. And yeah, we have used quite a bit. Not quite halfway yet, but we're getting there. And my goal is to finish it. And I'm sure I will do that before the project is over. Next is hiding from me. Here it is. My... Uh, Aromatherapy Room and Body Mist from Zum. There's Zum Mist in Frankincense and Myrrh. It's this guy here. It's got a gold package. And I brought it into the pa project. We were up here, I believe. Last update, we were down here. And today, we are down here. So we're getting there. This is one of my favorite repurchase um, scents for a fragrance room and body spray, as it says. And I really like the Frankincense and Myrrh. So they do make other scents, so you can check that out. Their website, you can um, search for Zum, or their um, parent company is called Indigo Wild. And I really enjoy that, and I will continue working on it. Next on my list was a pedicure kit, and I have not used it. It's in pumpkin spice. I'll get around to using it eventually. Uh, next, we have my... Tahitian Gardenia Flower and Mango Butter Shampoo and Conditioner. Let's see, this is the shampoo. And we brought it into the project. We were here. Last update, we were there. And this update, we are here. So slowly but surely, you can see I'm, I'm working on it. So that is getting used. And then the conditioner's not as much, but we go to there to there. Um, there's probably more usage but I couldn't tell. Um, so we'll continue working on that. My goal is to finish those both. Um, okay. Next up I'm going to talk about is my Cocoa Gloss Hair Serum from Pacifica. It is this guy here. It's got lovely gold on the packaging. And it is an anti-frizz anti big shine with coconut and hemp. It smells delicious. I did wear, uh, washed my hair and wore it today, um, and I think it works pretty good. It's like a nice, smoother anti-frizz, um, and also helps curl enhancing. Um, we brought it into the project. It was pretty new. I did have it in another project, and so we are right here now. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep using that. My goal is to try and finish it. I don't know if that's going to happen because that's a lot of product, but we'll work on it a little bit at a time. Um, next I have Scalp Scrub. I used it once. It was just a deluxe sample size, but I've used it once. I'm not going to, I don't have any really progress to use show, or didn't grab it to show. Um, next I have my Vitamin C Serum from Fleur and B. It's their Nectar of the Sea. It's kind of hard to see, but we were here and now we are here. Uh, there wasn't much progress because I was working on another Vitamin C Serum. So that one is finished, and now I've been working on this one again. Next is, fallen over, is my eye cream. Yep, this is from Asano. It is their hydrating rosehip eye cream. It has little gold on the seal there. And we brought it into the project. We were up here, and now we are down to here. So making progress. It might be a little bit lower than that. Some of it's clinging to the sides, but that's as close as I can get. So some progress made on that. Next is my, what is it? I always can remember what this is called. Um, hey Honey, there's the front. Hey Honey Skin Purifying Bee Propolis Drops. Um, yeah, so it is this beautiful little orangey yellow gold bottle. Um, we brought it in the project, I believe that was the line when we brought it in, and we are down to here. It is something I got from Ipsy. I don't really think I need it, but I use it occasionally. Um, yeah, to help fight acne and redness. 
All right, next is my Milani Rose Water Prep and Refresh uh, Hydrating Rose Rose Water Mist. And this is empty. Yay, this first empty of this uh, update. So this is empty. It was really lovely. Nice mist. There's always that little last little bit left. Um, but that was a lovely refreshing. I use is just part of my skincare. Um, after I wash my face, I'd spritz that and then start with all my serums and things. So that is finished. Um, next we have my Freeman In Shower Warming Face Mask for purifying pores and we brought it into the project it was brand new and we are now right there i have not been keeping track of how many times i've used it but i've used a few so that is how far we are there and it has a big yellow sun on it next is my bio uh deluxe sample size of a biosance squalene and amino acid squalene and amino aloe gentle cleanser this is my travel size cleanser and I have finished it. We brought it into the project. It was here last update. We were here and now it is completely empty. So that's two empties for this update. Yay! Making progress. Um, next I had my Essence Big Lash Mascara, which I didn't grab, but it's over there. I just started using that last month in July. So I will be using that for three months. So this month will be one month and then two more months. Okay, and then I think that's pretty much all the skincare except for that. So let me move these out of the way. Set those on the floor. Okay. All right, now on to other things. So first we have, um, I have three nail polishes. The first one is Highlight of My Day from ASP. It is this highlighter yellow shade there. You can see I am right there. My goal is to use it three times, and so far I've used it twice, so I have one more use left to go on that one. And then the next one is from e.l.f. It is a mini from their Game Up collection, and we are right about there. You can see the fill line there. My goal also, three uses on that, and I've used it twice as well, so I have one more use to go. Getting lip color all over the place. All right, I think it looks good enough for now. And then the third one is not a yellow polish, but it has a gold cap on it. It is a red polish, and it is from Complex Culture, and it is called Hustle. We are right here. My goal is three uses as well, and this one I've only gotten to wear once, so I have two more uses to go on that one. Okay, next, more makeup. Okay, we have from Ma, um, BH Cosmetics, we have the Base Boost, Base Booster Glitter and Shadow Glue. I brought this in. It was fairly new, and I can't really mark it, but as I squeeze it, we're going to about there, so about the E and booster. I um, can't see through it because it's opaque packaging, but I have been remembering, trying to remember to wear this every time I do my makeup, and it I find it has helped with um, making my my shimmery shadows a little more impactful. So continue working on that. My goal is to finish it. Next from Milani, I have the Screen Queen um, Foundation in one ten. I don't remember what it's called. Cool porcelain? Yes. Um, and it has been laying on its side, it, but it's quite thick, so it's not settling very well. Um, brought it into the project. We were here. Last update, we were there. And I think now, I didn't mark it. I think we're right here. Like I said, it's hard to settle. So, but yeah, I think we're right about there right now. So we're going to continue working on that. But my goal for that is to finish it. And going along the lines of that, I have from Yensa, their Tone Up Primer, Essential Glow. It has lovely gold cap, and um, we brought it into the project. Excuse me, we were right here, and now we are down to here. And I have been using this as my primary primer. 
right now every time I do my makeup. And over the last month, I haven't done my makeup very much. I think this is the second or third time I've done my makeup in August. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, oh, I forgot to grab that. One second. Okay, well, I didn't forget to grab it. Apparently, I don't have it anymore. Um, it is a gloss from a brand that shall not be named. And it was a pale nude color. I was using it all the time. And I finished it. I was going to show you the empty, but apparently I've tossed it. So I am, it was really close to being done last time, so I'm sure you can take my word for it. And then from that same brand, I have this Supreme Gloss with the beautiful gold writing on it. I am wearing it right now. It is a lovely, um, highly pigmented gloss. Very nice formula. I've only worn it, I haven't tracked time uses, probably four or five times. Um, I think we're just like right up here at the top, so can't really see anything in there yet. But that is a lovely gloss I will continue to use. The dope that's a little bit weird on it. Let me see if I can show you. It's sort of a open, scoopy thing. Um, yeah, so I don't know if it's supposed to be that way. But it's really odd, um, interesting to apply. But I do like the color. It's a lovely color on me, and it's a nice formula. So I will continue working on that. My goal is to finish it. Um, and that one is called No Shame. Pretty sure. At least that's supposed to be. No Shame? Yeah, No Shame. Okay, and then I have a couple lip colors from BH Cosmetics. I have not used them. I um, have not used that. Okay, and I have a bunch, uh, I have several, I have several uh, eyeshadow palettes that I brought in from No Pan Left Behind. I have not started on, I've started on one, but one I have decided to declutter. And I didn't grab it either, so one second. Okay, I'm back. All right, I have decided the Alva palette. It's beautiful. Got a little gold on it. Um, I have this in another project right now, so I haven't been working on it in this project. But this is the color story, and it is not something I am drawn to. And it has been a struggle to use in the other project, so I don't want to struggle trying to use it in this project. So I have decided to declutter it and pass it on to somebody else who will hopefully get more use out of it and enjoyment out of it than I do because there are several shades in here I really like and some formulas I like, but there are also some that I don't like. And instead of trying to struggle to use this, I just decided I'm, I have lots of other eyeshadows I'd rather be using. So I'm going to pass this along and, um, yeah, if there's anybody out there who would be interested in having this, let me know. Otherwise, I will just um, be passing it on to my daughter. And if she doesn't want it, then from there, we'll see what it goes. But if anybody's interested and would like this gently used palette, let me know. And I will see about sending it your way. Otherwise, like I said, it'll go elsewhere. So this is being decluttered. And then the one palette I did start, actually, I did... I take that back. I did start marking one other one, I believe. It's been a while. <sighs> okay, nope. I take that back. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I put a post-it note in it, but I didn't actually mark any uh, shadows used in it, so it doesn't matter. So the one palette I did start marking uses for No Pan Left Behind is the one I'm wearing today, and is my Riviera from ABH. Um... And this is what she looks like. So I do have the shade uh, Estate right here. And this is in another project. But I did use that today. As well as this shade above it, which is called Sales. And then in today's main colors of the look, I have this brown here called Palm. And the inner corner is this blue-gray blue called Mediterranean. So those are the four colors I used today, the two on this end and the two on this end. So yeah, 
I started working on this palette. And it is not the most cohesive color palette, color story, but um, I'm, I'm working on it and playing with it. And I think the blue and brown make a nice combo today. So yeah, we're working on that. And then finally, the last two items are skincare, which one is in my basket? Okay. Um, then we have my gold bond hand cream, it's gold, and the name is gold and it has gold on it. Uh, I brought it into the update. I brought it into the project. It was brand new. I believe last update or, or when we brought, brought it in, it was there. And now we are about down to there. It's kind of hard to tell because there is some stuck to the sides, but squeezing it out, that's pretty much how far we are. So that is my hand cream. And then again, another one I brought in at the last update is this guy here. This is um, from Jurgen's Natural Glow what, Firming Daily Moisturizer in Fair to Medium. And it has gold on the packaging there. I brought it into the project. We were here and now we're here because I've only used it like once, maybe twice. I used it today because yeah, I felt like I needed color, um, not that you can see. So, And that is all for my update. Sorry, this was long-winded and um, a little bit late. And um, hi, I'm back. Um, hopefully, I'll be posting a little more regularly. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you go ahead and do that while you're here. And that way, you know, you will be uh, finding out all my other videos in the future. And until then, take care of yourselves, stay true to you, and I'll see you later. Bye.